Sunday, October the 27th, 2024, the 23rd Sunday after Pentecost, Year B. Welcome to Evening Prayer.
Stay with us, Lord, for evening draws on and the day is almost over. God's love has been shed abroad in our hearts through the Holy Spirit he has given us. Hear us, O Lord, for your mercy is great. We will exalt you, O God, our Savior, and praise your name forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship be a witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. O gracious light, O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and the blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You were worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father, in your compassion, Forgive us our sins known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins, and to serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 103. Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities. He redeems your life from the grave and crowns you with mercy and loving kindness. He satisfies you with good things and your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and the judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so is his mercy great upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As a father cares for his children, so does the Lord care for those who fear him. For he himself knows whereof we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are like the grass. We flourish like a flower of the field. When the wind goes over it, it is gone. And in its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures forever on those who fear him and his righteousness on children's children on those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments and do them. The Lord has set his throne in heaven and his kingship has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forevermore. Amen. The first reading is a reading from the Word of God, 
written in the book of Haggai, chapter 1, verses 1 to chapter 2, verse 9. In the second year of King Darius, in the sixth month, on the first day of the month, the word of the Lord came by the prophet Haggai to Zerubbabel, son of Shiltiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest. Thus says the Lord of hosts, These people say the time has not yet come to rebuild the Lord's house. Then the word of the Lord came by the prophet Haggai, saying, It is time for you for you yourselves to live in your paneled houses. Is it a time for you yourself to live in your panel houses while this house lies in ruin? Now therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, consider how you are feared. You have sown much and harvested little. You eat, but you never have enough. You drink, but you never have your fill. You clothe yourself, but no one is warm. And you that earn wages, earn wages to put them into a bag with holes. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider how you have feared. Go up to the mountain and bring wood and build a house, so that I may take pleasure in it and be honored, says the Lord. You have looked for much, but it came too little. When you brought it home, it blew away. Why, says the Lord of hosts, because my house lies in ruins, while all of you hurry off to your own houses. Therefore the heavens above you have withheld the dew, and the earth has withheld its produce. And I have called for a drought on the land and the hills, on the green, the new wine, the oil, on the soil produces, on humans and animals, and on all their labors. Then Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, and Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest, with all the remnant of the people, obeyed the voice of the Lord their God, and the words of the prophet Haggai, as the Lord their God had sent him, and the people feared the Lord. Then Haggai, the messenger of the Lord, spe- spoke to the people with the Lord's message, saying, I am with you, says the Lord. And the Lord stirred up the spirit of Zerubbabel, son of Shetiel, governor of Judah, and the spirit of Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and the spirit of all the remnant of the people. And they came and they worked on the house of the Lord of hosts, their God. On the twenty-fourth day of the month, in the sixth month, in the seventh month, on the twenty-first day of the month, the word of the Lord came by the prophet Haggai, saying, Speak now to Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and to the remnant of the people, and say, Who is left among you who saw this house in its former glory? How does it look to you now? Is it not in your sight as nothing? Yet now take courage, Zerubbabel, says the Lord. Take courage, O Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest. Take courage, all you people in the land, says the Lord. Work, for I am with you, says the Lord of hosts. According to the promise that I made you when you came out of Egypt, my spirit abides among you. Do not fear. For thus says the Lord of hosts, Once again in a little while I will shake the heaven and the earth and the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all the nations, so that the treasures of all nations will come. And I will fill this house with splendor, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The latter splendor of this house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place I will give prosperity, says the Lord of hosts. In the second year of King Darius. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things to me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you. From generation to generation, you have shown strength with your arm, and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. 
you have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The second reading is a reading from the Word of the Lord, written in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 15 to 24. I speak as to sensible people. Judge for yourself what I see. The cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a sharing in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a sharing in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread. We who are many are one body. For we all partake of the one bread. Consider the people of Israel. Are not those who eat the sacrifices partners in the altar? What do I imply then? What do I imply then? That food sacrificed to idols is anything or that an idol is anything? No, I am I imply that what they sacrifice, they sacrifice the demons and not to God. I do not want you to be partners with demons. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake the, of the table of the Lord and the table of demons. Or are we provoking the Lord to jealousy? Are we strong, stronger than he? All things are permitted, but not all things are beneficial. All things are permitted, but not all things build up. Do not seek your own advantage, but that of the other. A word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Simeon Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and the two of the Son, and the two of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son of our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Suffragists Lord, reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations, and to teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness, and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O oh Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us, that in us and through us your will may be done. The collect for today is the 23rd Sunday after Pentecost, proper 25. Almighty and everlasting God, increase us in the gifts of faith, hope and charity and that we may obtain what you promise. Make us love what you command, through Jesus Christ our Lord, 
who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A Collect for Sundays O God of peace, you have taught us that in returning and rest we shall be saved, and quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your Spirit, lift us, we pray, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer of dedication. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our parts, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit, and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us evermore. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.